are Ermac with the mask. With the mask. Yeah. And the mask was was pretty praised. Yeah. yeah people yeah. like the mask. Uh, and he has some of his gear is some oh, of the coolest. It's gnarly. There's, yeah. there's, there's a helmet that I have been wearing exclusively, which I will not talk anything more about. Uh, his movement's awesome. He's, I I love the like weird marionette way mm. he walks back and forwards. He's, I think our design team and our animators have really nailed the uh, kind of spooky mummy man, on his undead knees guy. For the, yeah. For his, uh, cool throw. With, we got the Movado throw, and then just very, crumples very you. Very painful. Um, yeah, so let's talk about, uh, about Ermac. One of his main strings that people are really going to enjoy. One of my favorites, kind of old school. Uh, one of those strings that ends in a grab at the end. Mm -hmm. Very reminiscent of like the ultimate MK3 kind of lift, except he throws him over, but that kind of hand gesture reminds me of it, which is a cool. And probably easier to do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to, you don't have you can just, you don't have to do the ending and it's a knockdown. Mm -hmm. um, but this, why wouldn't you lift? Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's, it's too cool. cool. Like yeah. boom. Do you lift, bro? <laughs> Remember that? Uh, this is one of his main strings too that I love using. Two one two. Mm -hmm. Pop up. Yep. Um, it immediately goes into pop, and you can combo after that if you want to. Uh, just super cool. Like just it, you know one of those one of those moves people really enjoy because it takes a lot of the onus off of you. You, you're, it's, it's a pop-up combo. You get way up in the air and you can do stuff. And mm -hmm. I think you'll see that he has a lot of really cool air combos and air enders and stuff he like has that. Some, he has a, some of the most air moves in the game, I would say. Uh, That's because he's Air Mac. Oh, oh, there we are. There we love are. It. Love it. This move, he uh, kicks you and then... Just a burst of souls. And, and it, you know, for a string, does, does a good amount of damage. Uh, this can be canceled out with some stuff that we will show later, so we're going to hold off on that a little bit. You're working up to it. We're going to work up to it. Mm -hmm. um, his Torch 4 is really neat. This is this neat. And then Torch 4 3, it knocks them away. This is another move that, on the outset, looks just like a kind of a jumping knee. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot more is going to come from that later. We will get back to that as yeah, well. Yeah, you'll notice he's, he's airborne, which yes. we'll talk about. Keep that in mind, yes. It, it knocks him into the air. Um, and it knocks them into the air, and what you're what you're stating, Ermac to me. He is airborne, yes. Yes. Um, four two two. There's no overhead. So, like we said earlier, it's not a lot of overhead lows with Ermac. This is one thing you kind of throw out and fish, and you know, knock them down, knock them away, or just throw the overhead out and cancel into a special. It's also yeah. worth considering while he may not have the best lows. The cameo systems means Absolutely. there are characters like Kung Lao and Frost that have good lows. Absolutely. Um, but this is a great one to start out there. Has, has a good, good amount of range. Yeah. Good amount of range. Uh, back to four is a cool sort of trapping bounce. Mm -hmm. And it can also it can be special canceled as well um, if you want to. Um, that's the full move. It knocks you fully away. And then you can do like a lift off. Uh, and more stuff too, obviously. But that's just where you are there. Uh, this move is a ton of fun. This is just his back three. It's kind of like a, a get the heck off me move. Uh, just sends you full back. A, uh, a specter comes out and knocks you backwards. Uh, gives you a little distance when you when you need it. With right. It. it seems like he does do a lot of things to get distance as well. He does. And he has a, lot of, he has a couple of things you can get him back in range mm -hmm. as well. Uh, let's talk about some special moves. As we've seen earlier, we got the just the classic lift. Yep, that big skeletal witch lady. <laughs> now you can also meter burn that for to trap them. Oh. And do air combos or whatever you want to do after that, which is super cool. A um, lot of fun. Uh, he just a lot of stuff you can do with that. Uh, he's got a push. Yep. And has a good amount of range. That's, that's the kind my of thing. guy. That yeah, was my right? guy. That's your, that's your, that's your guy. Uh, it's one of those good things when you're playing Ermac where you can always sort of like be checking people who are trying to move in on you. Exactly. And, you know, they have to be really safe because there's a good amount of distance there. Uh, when you use meter on that, it is also armor. Which is a great armor move. You can use that to beat projectiles, long range normals. You could like whiff punish with it. Right. Unless that's full. I just did pretty much max distance right there. Mm -hmm. And that's. 
You got some good range. You got some good range. You got some good range. Uh, of course, the teleport. Right. This teleport is very interesting. So see, I'm starting on the ground. Mm -hmm. I teleport. I end on the ground. Yeah, I'm still on the ground there. I can also go up. So I can go on the ground or the air. Do it again now, what? So I can go up. Mm -hmm. Or I can do it from the air and go up. Mm -hmm. You can do it to the air and go back down. Wow. So like any up, down, you can mix and match. Them. Mind blown right now. One thing that's fun to do too is you can actually kind of go up here with it and you're right in their face. Right. And you know, a lot of people might do something to you. A lot of people won't. <laughs> so that's, that's a lot of fun too. Um, it's also going to be a thing that's really going to add to their mental stack when you have multiple options coming up. They're going to have to look for the teleport and then also guess how you're going to teleport yeah. back in. Right. Um, big thing, uh, down back two is this. Oh, that's not that. Oh. Did it wrong. Oh. Hover. OK. So hover does quite a few things. You're hovering. You can cancel it early, that sort of thing. If you meter burn it, it's quicker. Nope. And we'll explain that in a second. So remember that knee we talked about? Yes, I do. Tell me about that knee. So you can cancel. Very cool. Into knee with teleport, with, with levitate. So you can continue pressure. So I can do that. Maybe I come down and I throw. <laughs> Lots of things you can do with that. So if he's in the air, he can do his levitate, which opens up a lot of things. Like this string I showed earlier. You he's can literally do... come up with some crazy stuff. Very Ooh. cool. I missed it. Hold on, sorry. So I can levitate out of it. Okay, Lanny. Right. Nice. Into a, into a full combo. You got it in less than three tries. Right. And you're really just a normal about, person. I'm just a normal human being. <laughs> and hover, hover's super cool. So it's just, you always... You know, I love that kind of UMK3 pose. Yeah. pose. It's Once a, you start putting this pressure on, like, where does it go, right? And that's going to be really fun for a lot of people to play with. I've really enjoyed it. So sometimes when I'm like alone in my apartment, I do that pose, and that's no that's not weird, right? That's Everyone does that, right? Absolutely <laughs> normal. Okay. Let's talk about some new stuff to Mortal Kombat 1's Ermac. Uh, first off, there's this move called Death's Embrace. Okay. Where he comes out, a spirit touches him, and he gets this sort of shield on him. Right. While that is active, and it lasts five, six seconds, there it went away, your health bar is now your meter. So you are getting meter taken off instead of health, mm -hmm. right? So a very clear scenario would be you're about to lose. Right. You have only one hit left. But you got full meter. But you got three bars. You know, let's say you're way ahead and the time's running out. Turn it on. They're chipping away at your meter Right. while your health bar is safe. The cool thing about this, too, is you can turn it off whenever you want to. So if someone's doing a combo to you, you can take half that combo, turn it off, like, there's a lot of different, like, mind games you can play with it. Some fun stuff that way. Also, the little demon lady looks really cool. She does. Uh, another move that's new is Spirit Punch. So he has this punch where he charges it up Ooh. and lets up, oh, just a torrent of these, these spirits. Now, it has a bunch of levels. You can do it just real quick. Just knock them away. Hold it down. It gives you a crumple state. Ooh. And then it's time. You know? Right. Okay. Now here's the other thing. This move can be canceled out. Mm -hmm. So you can turn it on, I can back out, turn it on, back forward. You can put in a move, you can do it during a combo and do it. I'm sorry to say not great at that, but you can you can continue pressure like we were talking about earlier. Um, super cool move. Another move he has is that's new is this Shrieking Souls move, where he slides on the ground and, and knocks you up. This also can be canceled. So once you hit, you can double dash forward and continue a combo. So I can be like, okay, very like cool. That. You got it. And so that it just always like constant pressure with Ermac. You're continuing moving forward, pressuring them, teleporting around. Just like you talked about earlier, I love the term you when you use mental stack. Yes. There's a, so much. It's like a lot of our characters. There's so much stuff you have to think about while you're fighting him that could happen at any time. It also seems like a reoccurring thing here is combo options, possibility, yes. routes. Very cool. Uh, one of my favorite moves he has is this. He's got, this oh. is his only quote unquote projectile. As you can see, it runs across the ground. You can only do it in the air. Um, if you use meter, it costs two bars of meter. You can also do this and it'll send out these hands. That's so which cool. Which will start again. a combo. 
Now this, again, will go back to the knee, the thing that has sort of been the, the thesis of the story, is you can do it from knee. Which means, if you want to use the bars, you know, it's end of the round, you can literally come in, do that. Very cool. Um, that is, that, that's, that's Ermac in a nutshell. Lots of cool stuff he can do. Players who've played him before will get a lot of the same feeling. But there's a, there's a depth to him with these cancels, with these, these air shenanigans, we'll call them, mm -hmm. that you can do. It hardly seems like a fair fight that he's all those ghost helpers. Yeah, right? That doesn't seem fair. Right. Like, it's Mortal Kombat, and ghosts are inherently, they've left this mortal coil. They sure have. Uh, and, yeah, he, he's got plenty of help. Yeah. Um, which is awesome. I guess they're all part of him, so it's fair. He is nice. It, it is him. Yeah. It is him still the same. We should definitely show his uh, fatal blow. Fatal blow. Because it is a projectile. What? Yeah, so let's do this. And that is a wreck. You did pretty good there. Thanks. Yeah, you I'm, proud you. There's I'm proud of you. A couple things I messed up on. You ah, get nervous when you're doing it. You're human. I, thank, and you're you. Yeah, and I'm me. That's, right. that's the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really enjoy playing Ermac. Definitely. I mean, I've always loved the character. And he I, was your main. Yeah. He was my main. It's good to, see, good to see your original main back in the game. So that's super fun for me. Uh, also, though, I super love Movado. Like, I've really been enjoying mm -hmm. what I can do with Ermac and Movado. Not that I mean, every character works with everybody. If you right. Figure it out. Yeah. But I really enjoyed this this team up. It's a little so, duo of yours. A little duo of mine. So that's duo. what I'll be playing through uh, definitely in the next season. I'm excited to see him back. Um, I really like that era of MK. I like he's always been a really cool design. I think is the like bungee ropes thing are just so unique. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think this is a cool one. I mean, it was the '90s leather jacket. You can't go wrong with long leather jacket. Right. Like that was just, that was just cool. I mean, it's, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. it's done. Who did have one? You know what I mean? So let's let's take a look at uh, Mavon. So Mavon has a bunch. Of, he's he does a couple things. He has some setup tools. He has some combo extension tools. He has a way you can you know break use uh, flawless block to push them back, which I will not be showing. It's in the trailer. Mm -hmm. okay. I cannot do that. Uh, just a lot of really cool stuff. So let's take a look. One thing he has that's really neat, uh, he'll just throw out this mine, which will pull you forward, and at the end, you're kind of crumpled and knocked down. Now, if they can block that. Is that some red dragon tech right that's there? That's right, it yeah. Is. yeah. So, like, you know, boom. Created it. by the same scientist that built Sue Howe's uh, chest plate. It sure feels like it, right? So he's got that. He can also, this is, this is one of my favorites. This is generally used for a nice combo ender to add some damage. You can do the just fling each other into each other. Can Nomad's you touch. Explain that. To that is that is that. a cabal move from MK Deception. I'm so excited to have Mavado in. He stole his hook swords in Deception. He stole Nomad's touch. What a criminal. That I love he's it. a criminal. I mean, boom, boom. Boom. He takes a little damage. The other person takes a little bit more. He also has, this is really cool. When you knock them down, you can slide oh. out with him at low. And people are like, what does that do? Now it adds a little damage for one. Mm -hmm. What I enjoy it for is it stops when it counts. Oh. So they have to, they just have to hold that. Yep. Um, and that's what I've been, that's sort of what I've been sort of theory crafting its use as. Um, super cool though. Um, one, the, the two other moves he has, like remember these knees, we talked about these earlier. If they're in the air, he can fly back towards them and knock them back towards you, which is super cool. So you can just <laughs> combo continuation. He can also do it from the sky. I was going to ask. With a different input, which I like showing it like this. And that is neat because normally you cannot combo after an uppercut. Some characters can. Right. Uh, Sonya's, I believe, can. Scorpions, I believe, can. Uh, this is a new one that you can do it on, and it's actually it's pretty. It, I slid I under. Slid under I'm out. It's pretty easy to do, I think, too. So that's neat. It's just it's depending on what move you're doing to them is what you'll decide to do with either coming forward or dropping down. Um, but for me, I found it really easy. Ermac has a lot of moves that I think it works with really well. I mean, that could be recency bias because I'm playing the characters together, mm -hmm. but I've really enjoyed it. 
Well, I think one thing that would be cool is he could help extend your combos if you're a character that's not combo focused. Right. Or if you are like Ermac and you have a lot of options, you can even go all, double down, which I think is right. one of the coolest things about the cameo system, the ability to kind mm -hmm. of, you know, triple, quadruple down or fill in gaps that you might have. So like this is the, I mean, this basic combo I've been working on at my desk. We'll see if I can pull it off. I got faith in you. Oh, uh, it's so a, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. So I, close. If you like, I should try it one more time. Absolutely. Uh, well, I, that was well, it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. One more. One more. more. Oh, okay. Oh, right. One more. One more. One more. All right. People are like, please stop. I was trying to cover. Something. I know. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. Okay. All right. There we go. And are. there's my guy. There he is. Third time's a charm. What do you call that combo? Uh, we are many. Nice. We okay. are many is what that's called. So that, in a nutshell, in a nutshell, is Movado. Yeah, I think he's gonna. I think um, the combat pack uh, cameos. I think have been really, really cool. How they added the meta. It's, it's great to see cameos are almost as important as your roster character, and it's, it's really neat to see the meta shift and evolve as people figure them out. And a wide variety across them all of what right. they can do.